Folks, 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 I thank y'all for coming on and clicking on, clicking on, and staying on. Shout out to the big clickers. Shout out to my Patreon, guys. I got some stuff coming for you guys this week. Make sure you get your free seven-day trial of Patreon. See if you want to stick on. We're going to do after shows this week, all of that good jazz. I missed it last week because of my technical difficulties threw me off, but we are doing that this week. I have not forgotten. And we are going to do a member Zoom. Um, it's September, so it's a new month. So we do those once a month on, on the Patreon. So that's happening too. Where we get on the Zoom and we chop it up. And these last couple times I've been turning the camera on, I really ain't had much to much prepared. I just kind of been trying to follow um, my intuition and my instincts on how we should be communicating um, today. And this day is no different. So I'm going to pray right quick. And as I pray. It will be revealed to me what direction we're going to go in. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time. We thank you for this time of reconstruction. We thank you for the rebuilding process. We thank you for every component, every cornerstone, every uh, every milestone. All of these things are going back to the rebuilding of your people. Some of these people out here thought they was destroyed. Some of these people thought they was ruined. A lot of these people out here thought they would never be the same again. And in fact, they won't ever be the same again. They going up instead of down. We thank you for this confirmation in Jesus name. Amen. See, as I was praying, I heard it. This is the rebuilding season. You are going to rebuild. The question now becomes not only how do you rebuild after um, after after something traumatic. The question is, do you got the heart to rebuild. You got to find the heart to rebuild. Some of you have not yet found the heart to rebuild, even though you found the heart to survive. And I think that as I communicate today, we're going to help build the heart that it takes by understanding the steps that it takes to rebuild. You know, the uh, we just had the 9-11 um, memorial on yesterday. Today's 9-12. And um, some of those memorials that were done and rebuilt after 9-11 they didn't come because people wanted to that rebuild that they did and the memorials and the reconstruction of that area it came because they had a heart to rebuild The city said no. See, this is why your rehabilitation and your rebuilding is so is so important, because your 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 see the reason that they they rebuilt the city and they and they do things in New York and they do things, it's not for us. It's not for us here in the states. It's to let anybody and everybody know. You see this? This is ours. And yeah, you may have got over here and did something weird or whatever the story in the case may be. But we rebuild. And ain't nothing like that going to ever happen again. This is what your spirit is saying to you. You have to rebuild and send a message. Your rehabilitation and your rebuilding is a part of the revenge. That word gets looked, looked frowned upon, but it's it, I'm not saying it with a negative connotation. It's a part of it. It's a part of the reparations. I have to rebuild. So we make it clear that this is my... Your rebuilding is the memorial grounds. 
See, a lot of those buildings, some of those buildings and some of those monuments that they they, they redid, I guarantee you they took some of that old rubble. Said, we're going to take a little rock from the building and put in here as a memorial and we'll build around it. We need this peak. We got to remember what happened here. But also build on top of it so it never happens again. And I heard this. Your rehabilitation is going to require a team. It's going to require a team in the spiritual realm. It's going to require a team in the physical realm. You're going to have to have some contractors. You need some help. You need some help. And that doesn't mean that people are going to physically help you. It may be resources. It may be what you listen to. It may be what you watch on YouTube. But you're going to have to hire some contractors to help you put some of this stuff back together. Because some of this stuff is out of your scope. Some of your issues that you got, you can't fix. If you could fix them, then you would have. It may require a professional. It may require looking at some, it may require reading some books. It may be, may require looking at some case studies on, you know, what's happened with other people that's had this similar issue. And I'm just talking, but this is about rehab, and this is a, and part of rehab is rebuild. What we're not going to do is be a revolving door of rehabilitation. Ain't going to be another 9-11. Do you hear me? See, the rehab and how the country responded and, 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 and how government responded, you know, no matter what, you know, some people think conspiracy, that's fine. I'm just using this as a parable. No matter what happened, ain't never happened again. So many laws have changed. So many. You're your own. I just heard you're your own governing body. OK. You are the government of your body. You're the government of your life, okay? And so part of your issue, a part of your job is the government of your body, government of your life, government of your family. Is that if you have if 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 if, if a wound is thrown and you had to go to war, then people got to see you be rehabilitated and they got to see you rebuild cuz that's part of the that's part of of what's you. It's a symbol. It's going to take some people. It's going to take you getting some advice, some wise counsel. It's going to take discipline. It's going to take focus. And that don't mean you 100%. That don't mean, oh, I'm focused, I'm locked in all the time. No, 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 no. Everybody ain't locked in all the time. If anybody say they always locked in on and on, always on go and, and ready and working all the time, you... That ain't a healthy life. I heard this quote yesterday that said, wasted time. Time that you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. There are some certain things that I do that people might look at as wasted time, but I enjoy wasting that time. So it's not wasted time to me because I got my enjoyment. And and there is a tectonic shift going on. The type of shift that causes earthquakes and things to open up in this earth that you are a part of and we are a part of. And when that shift happened and that earthquake happened, I want it to be said that I put my I put my 9/11 memorial up. And 
Understand. Your enemy is embarrassed. Embarrassed and afraid and ashamed. They never imagined it would be like this. I repeat, your enemy never imagined it would be like this. They ain't never heard Donnie McClurkin. I just heard that. Your enemy ain't never heard that song. We fall down, but we get up. We fall down, but we get up. I fell down, but I got up. For a saint is just a sinner who fell down and got up. <laughs> they never heard. They never heard nothing like that. So when they see you rise from the ashes and they continue to see you rise from the ashes, just imagine their chagrin. Like, just imagine. That's the thing that you, you, you're you not going to be able to project yourself into. You're never going to be able to project yourself into the surprise that people feel by seeing you up when they definitely thought that you should have been down. It's like a horror movie. I mean, it's like a, yeah, it's like the equalizer. It's like, I don't know. But I fell down and I got up. And when I got up, I rose with all power in his hands. And that's it. that's our testimony. And I'm going to fall down again. But like 9-11, it won't be on that. <laughs> it won't be on that. You'll have to attack me a different way. The terrorists got to come a different way. I understand that. That's a part of being. That's a part of being the best of the best. See, when you know, it, people say what they say about America. And, you know, I ain't no huge patriot in either way. But a lot of things in this world, America, the best of the best. And it's the top. And, and being in the top percentile, you garner some type of hate and you garner issues. Being chosen, being in them few percent, you garner issues. But I fell down. And I got up. I fell down and I got up. I fell down and I got up. Saying it's just a sinner who fell down and got up. <laughs> they mind can't get past the fell down part. The enemy's mind cannot get past the fell down part. They can't get. They can't get up. Mm. Imagine if you just said, I fell down. And I fell down. I fell down and I fell down. <laughs> That's they just testimony. They keep falling down. And the only way they can get a dub is to hold on to a saint because a saint is just a sinner. See, they thought y'all was the same because both of y'all fell down. They thought y'all was the same because you, your enemy found you in a low place. And they was in a low place. But they fall down and they fall down. You fall down and you get up. And if you fall down on that level, you get up again. And that's the thing that people can't understand your level up. is because I fell down at that level and I got up. And when I got up, I, I, I stepped up. 
But you fell down to fall down. I just heard falling. I can't get up. Life alert. Like I said yesterday, people is expecting you to come save them. They pushing the button. I'm falling. I can't get up. Life alert. But they peep, they pushing that beat. And ain't nobody on the other side. Mm. Ain't nobody on that other side when they say, help. Boop, boop. Ain't no ambulance. Because that's the thing. These people, like, they, 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 they codependent. So that life alert is always tied to somebody. Believe that. Your enemies need people at all times. So when they push that button for life alert and somebody normally come, <laughs> home, home girls, home boys, uh, uh, family come, uh, church people come, uh, other people at the job come. You know, normally people come. But now when they pushing that thing, ain't nobody pulling up. Rebuild, restore, recycle, reduce, reuse, <laughs> and close the loop is what they say. The three R's, I, I don't know why they came in my head, but mm, God saying recycle. There's some things, just like in 9-11, everything don't got to go, be thawed out. I'm going to reduce. I don't got to use all of this. I'm going I'm to chunk that down. I don't need 15 friends. I need three. I don't need that. Da, 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 da. I need one. I don't, uh, uh. I'm recycling. I'm reducing. And I'm reusing. That's for somebody. All right. Peace.